Welcome back to the channel guys, it's SPG Killerwood coming back at you again with another video. This is my uh, Vinegar Syndrome collection. Um, I mean, I don't have too, too much compared to a lot of people, but uh, you know, I was a subscriber uh, for the halfway subscriber this year. So I got like five months worth of movies, you know, plus all the stuff that I've been buying. Um, so a lot of this I still haven't seen, you know, a lot of it I have, but some of it I haven't. Um, and we'll try to, you know, we'll try to go over. I got box sets. I got, you know, slip cover editions. I got 4Ks, just all kind of stuff. Partner labels, just all kind of stuff. Um, but let's get into it, guys. This is going to be kind of not long, but not too bad. So first off, we have the, uh, you know, the Forgotten Gialli Volume 1. Um, you know, these are kind of, the, the box sets are, these are already out of print, but you can still get it in like a single case or whatever. But, um, but you get the, uh, you get trauma. You know, these are Giallis from back in the day, like in the seventies. There might be a couple of them, it might be late sixties, but for the most part, in yeah, 1978, a lot of this stuff I've never even heard of, um, you know, I didn't really get into the uh, the Gialli until I started watching some of the uh, Argento stuff. So, but yeah, that's trauma. Uh, police are blundering in the dark. <laughs> some of these title names are just kind of crazy for these uh, Gialli movies. It's like they were just kind of randomly making something up. It sometimes it seems like, but yeah. But this is the volume one, you know, for the first first box set. Uh, the killer is one of thirteen. Now, I have seen all three of these. Um, they're pretty good, not too bad. I mean, not like really, really good, but you know, they're they're watchable. Um, so let's see. If I can put this back in here. I know it's going to take a little bit longer time to try to get these in here, but <clears throat> I figured if you wanted to see them, at least this way you could see them. So uh, that was the volume one. And then we got volume two, which means boxes are just gorgeous as far as, you know, the, the, the way they've done them. Um, this one's already out of print. Like I said, you can still get the three movies on a single disc or not single disc, but single case that they sell um, on their site. But as far as like trying to buy the boxes, you'd have to go to like eBay to get those. Uh, all right, so this one has Girl and Room A, 2A. I can't remember how far I made it. I think I might've made it through, the, through this box set. Cause so far they've got five uh, I can't remember. If, I think this might be where I left off. Uh, My Dear Killer. You know, they all have like reversible cover art. Um, so you can, you know, flip it to uh, either the the new commissioned art or the, uh, the original art. Uh, the French Sex Murders is the next one. But these are cool to have. I mean, you know, they take up a good little bit of space on your shelves, but they're definitely, uh, you know, definitely cool to have. So that was that one. Volume two. Then we have volume three. We have Autopsy. This one was pretty good. So yeah, I had... Okay, so that's it. So the third box is as far as I've got. Because I remember watching this one. So this one was pretty good. This one was... 
Yeah, autopsy. Uh, what is this? Uh, crazy desires of a murderer. Nineteen seventy-seven mm, eyeballs, and I can't really remember some of these, so I'd probably have to go back and rewatch them. Uh, we have the murder mansion. Sorry for the glare. I got my light on. In nineteen seventy-two, just trying to make it a little bit brighter in here. Uh, I just figured it'd be easier to do these on my bed instead of trying to show them all from the bookshelf in my living room where right now a lot of stuff's going on. You know, it's Christmas Eve stuff. You know, they're in there doing stuff. So I'm in here in the room just trying to keep it quiet for y'all. Uh, next up we have The Forgotten Jolly, Volume 3. Excuse me, Volume 4. And I'm sure if you know anything about the vinegar syndrome stuff, you've probably already seen these in other, you know, other videos, or you might already have them yourself. Who knows? Uh, come on. Top's not cooperating here. Yeah. Sometimes I get a little, sometimes I get a little tight trying to get them out. It's never fun trying to do this one handed here. Okay, so yeah, I think, so the first three was the ones that I've seen, because these are still sealed. So this one is the white dress for, Mer was it Mario? Mm, it's kind of crazy looking. This one, 1972. Uh, this one is... No, oh, actually, this is the volume five. Oh, I must have had it out of order. Oh, well. Uh, Tropic of Cancer. Nineteen seventy-two. So you can tell these are all like early seventy movies. And then uh, Nine Guests for a Crime. Trying to get that glare out of it. Uh, 19, what did I say, 77? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, 1977. Nine guests for a crown. This box right here should still be available. This one and possibly volume four should still be on their site. Um, if you want to get the box set. I think it was just the first two that was uh, sold out or out of print or whatever. I can't get it back in there now. That's pretty cool though to have the box sets. Um, but if you you know if you're constrained on space, you can just go you can just get them with the single case and it'll have the three disc inside. And then let's see, this was volume, this was volume four. So somehow another on my shelf, it got mixed up. I guess I put it in there backwards. Come on. If I can get them out here, guys, bear with me here. It's always kind of hard to do this stuff one-handed here. All right, so you have Arabello. And I don't know nothing about these. These are still sealed, so I haven't seen these. I'm going to say 1989. So getting into the later years was like of it. Uh, the sister of Ur Ursula. Nineteen 
1978. And then we have the kill. The killer is still among us. I'll get to him eventually. I um, just got so many movies to watch. Not enough time. Yeah, I gotta fix that too. I hate when the, uh, you know, the little cover art kind of comes outside the plastic. Usually try to keep all that inside. Anyway. So that's volume four. It's aggravating. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Doing this one-handed here. And this goes this way. There we go. Volume four. So that was one through five of the Forgotten Gialli volumes. And next up, we have the... Um, the Homegrown Horrors Volume 1. This one came out last year. Um, got three movies, horror movies that, um, you know, has been either never released or just released a long, long time ago on VHS or something. Uh, we have Fatal Exam. Not too bad. If I remember correctly, this one was kind of long. 114 minutes. One of them was pretty, pretty, pretty long. Uh, next up, we have Beyond Dreams Door. This one wasn't, wasn't too bad. And then we have Winter Beast. These are, you know, now you have to take, you know, take these with a grain of salt because they are very low budget. You know, they're not the best of quality, but um, still pretty good nonetheless, though. You know, for what they are. So that was volume one. And then volume two just now came out back in November. You know, these are following the same as the forgotten boxes. Uh, you know, the same boxes. They just got, you know, different art on them, obviously. Um, but as far as the style of them, they're the same. All right. Now, this these I haven't opened because I just... Got them so, uh, but the first one is Dead Girls. This some low budget, low budget cheese. I think this might be the one that everybody was kind of expecting, or no, it was this one, uh, Moonstalker. When they announced the box set. You know, people were kind of speculating this might be with it. But they announced this one, and then they didn't announce the other two. So. Kind of almost, I don't want to say Western, but kind of looks like it might have that Western kind of look to it. Out in Nevada, yeah. Or some, some of y'all might call it Nevada. I say Nevada. <clears throat> All right, the next one is... Hanging Heart. And like I said, I don't know anything about these three because I haven't seen them, so. I will eventually. If I can just get these back in here without. There we go. That actually went pretty good. All right, let's see. Next up, we'll do. Uh, just regular editions with slip covers. Now, like I said, I don't have a whole lot. Um, you know, I started collecting vinegar probably 
little over a year ago. Sold some of them, but I kept some of them, and then I started building upon what I already had. So, uh, first up, we have Annie Lee's Meat Pies. This has old Mr. Miyagi in it. <laughs> it's pretty good. I like this one. It was pretty good. I'm not going to take all these out because, I mean, it just take me too long to go through all my slip covers and taking them out, showing you the covers and all this. But, you know, for the most part, this is, you know, what they'll look like. So, Annie Lee's Meat Pies. Oh, Meat Pies. Always thinks of, like, Cartman. Meat Pies. Uh, next up was Birds 2, Land's End. Heard this one wasn't great at all, really, so... I haven't even bothered to open it and probably never will. I don't know. I might. Uh, next up is Blood Delirium. You know, Vinegar always does the best on these slip covers. They're really good and thick. You know, they're very sturdy. Um, the artwork on them is usually amazing. Uh, it just really draws you in. Now, that's good and bad. You know, the art's good. Bad is most of the time the movies kind of suck. Um, not all of them are good, so that's really cool right there. But that's Blood Delirium. Haven't seen that one yet. Still sealed. I don't. I don't open them until I get ready to watch them. So uh, next up is Buried Alive, which I don't know if this is any good or not. Um, you know, I've kind of noticed that when this actress came out, a lot of them went up on eBay pretty quickly. So. I don't know if that's just people watching them and then just trying to get their money back or if it's not no good. Not sure. Uh, next up is Burning Paradise. This is one of their recent releases, I think, from November. Um, you know, when you get the, the subscription, you get movies, you know, they're monthly movies. So this was part of one of those. But well, that Blood Delirium was too, and Buried Alive. Um... This one looks really good, though. I've seen the trailer on it. Uh, you know, the Hong Kong style, just action, nonstop. Definitely looks pretty good, so I'll definitely watch that one. Uh, next up is Sensor. Haven't watched this one yet. I've had it for a while, but just haven't watched it yet. Um, it's actually got... It's a slip box with a slip case. <laughs> so. These are just the names of the two movies that are actually in that movie. Uh, the lady is like a film reviewer or critic or something and starts going crazy from all the movies or something um, from what I read. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, next up, we have Creature. I did watch this one uh, when I got it. I liked it. I mean, you know, it's low budget, kind of like Alien. But um, if I remember, I think it had Klaus Kinski in it, if I remember correctly. But, um, I mean, I thought it was pretty good. You know, it's definitely, definitely worth a watch. Definitely worth a rewatch later down the road. Uh, this one right here just got uh, Don't Open Till Christmas. Which I'll probably watch this pro probably tonight. They gave you like a like a card, like a Christmas card. I don't really want to show all that, but yeah, like the 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 people at Vinegar Syndrome signed it. I mean, it's not you know it's been printed over, but anyway, you know what I'm saying. Um, but I just kind of thought the way that it folded out made it look like a Christmas card. Look kind of cool. Um, but yeah, this one this one will probably be watched here like tonight. Or on Christmas. Another new one that just came out is Evil Laugh. I don't know anything about this one. So, that's that. I'll be dragging the stack over. I'm trying not to tear, tear them up here. Uh oh. Next up is Frightmare. I haven't watched this one yet. Hers pretty good though. Uh, 
Uh, next up is graduation day. Um, they released this without the slip, and then they released the uh, the slip with it. I think it was last year. As like you know, like the legacy slip collection or whatever. Um, every year they try to put out a few of them that hasn't had slips, and they come back and add sli slips to them. So I got this one. Since I didn't have the movie, I went ahead and bought it with the uh, the slip and all that. But I like the way the slip is. The movie's pretty good. Um, I'll definitely give it another watch. Uh, next up is Hot Snake and Guns and Guts. So Western, you know, spaghetti Western. Uh, it, this was actually I like both of these honestly. Uh, they were they were they were surprisingly good. Um, you know, I figured they would be just kind of cheesy or whatever, but they were actually actually pretty good. Um, both of them. Uh, next up, we have the Ice Man cometh. Don't know anything about it. Haven't seen it. Uh, next up, we have the lamp. Uh, this slip looks really good. I mean, I know that my camera just don't, or my phone don't do it justice, but in person, if you have this, I mean, it's, the colors are really, really bright and vibrant. Um, this is a good one. Um, this was on Screen Factory's uh, double feature with the outing. Or maybe it might be the outing. Um, but yeah, Vinegar put it out by itself and as the lamp. That's I think that's what it originally was called. Um, but yeah, this one, this one's good. Uh, the Laughing Dead. Uh, this one is, is I can't really remember too much about it. Um, I watched it, but I couldn't, I can't remember to tell you what's going on. I had to rewatch it and see it, you know, watch it again. Um, it, I don't think it was that great, though, from what I remember. Uh, next is Memorial Valley Massacre. Uh, still got to watch this one. The majority of these I haven't seen. Just My problem is I buy way too much all the time and just don't have time to, to watch everything that I get before more stuff starts coming. Uh, Mutant Hunt looks pretty crazy looking. Um, yeah, Mutant Hunt. This is a newer one. Uh, Nightmare Weekend. Now this one I have seen. Um, yeah, it wasn't so great. Not really. And nothing really back on there, but... <laughs> That one wasn't really the greatest. Uh, set that. Hmm. Trying to find a spot for all these to go. I just got so many. All right, next up we have uh, Night Train to Terror. This one actually one of their first releases, so it still has the blue case instead of the clear. But um, not very much here to see there on that one. But yeah, still got to watch that one. Next up, we have Resurrection. Uh, this was like like Seven. If you ever seen Seven with Brad Pitt, this is kind of like a uh, another one of those. So he's coming. All right, let me grab a next stack. All right, next up we have, if I can grab it, uh, Writing Wrongs. This is another, like, one of the uh, slip boxes with the slip case inside. And it looks like it's got either a book or a poster with it. Can't remember. Uh, but, yeah, I was Cynthia Rock Rock, or Roth and Rock, whatever her name is. It's some Hong Kong goodness. Uh, next up, we have Rush Week. It's supposed to be really good. Haven't seen it yet. 
Uh, next up, we have Satan's Blood. I remember seeing this one. I just can't remember exactly well what happened in it. Um, you know, a lot of these, I mean, you'll forget pretty quickly. Uh, next up, we have Shallow Grave. I've heard this one's pretty good. Still got to watch this. Um, shallow. shallow Grave. Uh, next up is Shriek of the Mutilated. Sasquatch movie. Um, kind of kind of crazy looking. Still got to watch this one too. Next is Steel and Lace. Definitely like that. I heard this one was really good, so... Kind of like an android style robot kind of woman. Uh, next up, we have. I think this is a two. Yeah, two undercover angels. So, Jess Franco film. Then you have uh, Kiss Me Monster. So, double feature. I think I've seen. I remember seeing. I think I've seen this one. I don't think I've seen the other one. But yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, and then last, we have Who Done It. This one wasn't too bad. I think it kind of drug on just a tad too long, but uh, wasn't too, too bad. All right, so we'll do uh, just my single editions without slip covers. Uh, we have The Point of Terror and Blood Mania. This is, I think, like one of their first releases. You just get, like, you know, two two movies. Not too bad. Uh, next up we have Death Row Game Show. Which everybody kind of thought this was going to be the, like, the next one to have the, uh, the Legacy Slip. But it wasn't. Um, this one's pretty good. I liked it. It's kind of cheesy, but... Uh, you know, the people come on, like they're, they're from death row and they go to this game show and like supposedly if they can, you know, make it through the, uh, the little death defying acts or whatever, then, you know, they'll be set free. But, um, yeah, just got to watch it. It's good though. I liked it. Uh, next up is Demon Wind. Uh, this one had like a lentic lenticular slip with it. It's just crazy expensive now, so, you know, I ain't trying to pay all that for that. Um, so, I just got this disc without it. I ain't worried about it. Same with this one, uh, Demonoid. Pretty crazy looking. Uh, next up, we have The Doll Squad with Mission Killfest. Uh, it's two movies. Uh, this one actually just got the slipcover with it in the Black Friday sale. Um, I didn't buy it, which I'll probably go back on there. Once they come back up on January, if there's still some available, I'll probably go ahead and get it. I should have went ahead and got it, but I didn't order anything. I just got my subscription pack, and that was it. Uh, this one right here is Don't Answer the Phone. Pretty sleazy. Uh, you can get this still with a slip cover on there. It's, you know, part of the legacy, legacy slips. But I got this one off eBay a while back. So I didn't pay very much for it. But I don't know. It is what it is. I mean, some of these, you know, you don't have to have them. I don't, some of them I care for. Some of them I don't. Uh, massage par Parlor Murders. So, you know, one of their first releases. Um, guy going around killing the uh, the massagers from the parlors. Kind of crazy. It's not too bad. It wasn't bad. Uh, next up, we have Night Beast. You know, this one's kind of expensive with the slip. So, I didn't really, well, you know, just didn't get it with it. 
Um, there's your monster, though, the Night Beast. Kind of kind of crazy looking. Um, just going around killing people. Uh, next up, we have Slaughterhouse. Uh, this actually came like in a like a box, you know, like they kind of like split in the middle, and opened up. But um, if it wasn't expensive, you know, I'd go back and buy it. But I'm not gonna worry with it now. I w I wouldn't be surprised if maybe if this ain't one of the titles they re-release on 4K or something down the road. Um, you know these you know these movies now you just never know. Uh, next up is Witch Trap. This also had this lit, but I just don't have it. So I can't remember if I watched this one or not. Uh, I guess we'll do my 4K copies now. Uh, we have the Amityville Horror, uh, the very you know the original. Uh, it's kind of crazy they put this on 4K. You know, Scream Factory did a uh, a box set with it. But, um, and now it's kind of went down in price because this has come out in 4K, which, you know, hopefully maybe the second one will, or third one, but, but yeah, you know, the original Amityville, pretty cool. I haven't seen that, I haven't watched it yet to see how the transfer is, but I'm sure it's probably okay. Uh, next up is Dead Heat. Uh, this one, <laughs> this one was good. Um, I watched it a a couple months back. I thought it was pretty good. Like I said, these are 4K, so. Uh, this one right here is Deadly Games, Dial Code Santa Claus. Uh, it's kind of like the, the inspiration movie, movie that um, Home Alone was kind of based off of. Um, this is good. I actually watched this just the other night, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. You know, it's not, it's in Italian or French or whatever, but, um, I think it's French. So it's just got subtitles, but, uh, you know, it's, it's still good. Uh, next up we have Ebola Syndrome. <laughs> this movie is just insanely crazy. Category three, Hong Kong horror, um, or cat three is what they call them. You know, I didn't never. I've never seen this until I bought this, and uh, when I watched it, I was like, "Jesus, it's pretty insane." Definitely good. I loved it. Um, you know, just now, wait to see if they're going to release some more. Uh, next up is uh, Flesh for Frankenstein. You get that on 4K plus the uh, Frankenstein 3D, which I think is the same movie. It's just in 3D. But, um, you know, it kind of comes in a slipcase here. You know, nice, thick, hard slipcase. Uh, the only bad thing is I didn't put the, uh, the name on the uh, spine, which, you know, not really sure why. But I guess if they wanted to keep the, uh, you know, like the little sewed up parts looking like that, I guess they couldn't. But, I mean, they did it right there. But I don't know. I think people people kind of complained about that not having the you know because when you put it on your shelf you know you don't see it so anyway it was it was pretty good uh this one right here is one of the newest ones uh freeway this was like one of their uh mystery titles that was announced on black friday um with keeper sullivan i can't i can't remember if i've ever seen this if i did it was so long ago i don't even remember it that looks pretty disgusting though but uh, but yeah, you know, I'll watch it and see how how it is. Uh, we have the Incredible Melting Man, which is pretty insane. Um, you know, Scream Factory put this out a long time ago. You know, who would have thought that this movie would be getting a 4K copy? I mean, it's pretty good though. Transfer looks pretty good. You know, the blood scenes and all that stuff looks pretty good. Uh, next one is The Invisible Maniac. This one just released. This one has the uh, the lenticular cover that, you know, shows her naked if you, you know, it was part of the April Fool's Invisible uh, joke that they had going on for April Fool's Day, which, you know, I didn't, 
I didn't buy it, so I didn't get the slip. I kind of wish now that I did, so be worth a lot of money. Uh, Madman. This is a good movie. Um, really good, good. Madman Wars with his old chopping block there. Definitely glad they put this out on 4K. That was an upgrade from the Blu-ray, so, that I had. <clears throat> All right. Next up, we have Scanner Cop, or Scanner Cop 1 and 2. Um, you know, these are part of the Scanner universe. Um, I haven't seen these, but I've heard they're really good. He's got some craziness. <laughs> Pretty good there. But, yeah. That's insane looking. Scanner Cop 2, The Showdown. So, yeah, I can't wait to dive into these. Next up is another double feature. We have Schizoid. And then you have X-Ray with Barbie Benton. Um, I like both of these. Uh, some people will say they just like uh, X-Ray better. But I like both of them. Uh, Klaus Kinski. I thought they were pretty good. Ah, one of my favorites here. One of my favorites of the year. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 on 4K. I mean, come on. Who would have thought Vinegar would have got this, right? You would figure Scream Factory would have got it. But, man. I do love my Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And now they just, you know, announced the, uh, the first one for a U.S. release. So, um, you know, from Dark Sky, you can go order it, pre-order it now, Diabolic or Amazon, wherever. But I think a lot of people now are still holding out for the uh, second site to see if they're going to come out with theirs, which, you know, that'll be region B. I mean, the 4K is region free, but all the other discs will be region B, which I, I'll probably just get the Dark Sky. So next up we have Thriller. Uh, you know, the thr Thriller, a cool, cruel picture, and then uh, they call her one eye. So the cruel, both these, both these are in 4K. So the cruel picture is the actual, un, you know, the regular edition one, and then the one eye would be the one that was kind of all the uh, bad stuff kind of taken out of it, so to speak. Um, these box sets sold out when this came up. They sold out. Almost immediately with it before the weekend was over. Um, uh, next up, we have Ticks, which is like in another the slipcase box here. <laughs> oh, Clint Howard just looking all kind of crazy. That was like the original uh, cover for it. Ticks. Have the back. See if I can get this back in here real quick. Tix is great. It was like in nineties. I think it was in nineties. And last but not least, uh, the werewolf versus vampire woman. Oh, uh, Paul Nashy. He loves playing the wolf man. Pretty good. I actually watched it. It was pretty good. I'm gonna slide my chair down so I can grab the rest of this stuff because it's all the way across my bed here. Uh, I got a few partner releases and then I have like a, well, you'll see. <clears throat> so first up we have uh, Boarding House. I don't I don't really go too crazy with the partner releases. Um, the only ones that I actually collect for is like Culture Shock. Um, this one was kind of weird. It was, you know, a shot on video, but I don't know. Didn't really care too much for it. I like the cover though. I mean, that's kind of crazy looking, but I picked this one up. Uh, Jack B. Nimble. Um, this one was kind of, you know, selling out pretty quickly uh, when, you know, when they announced it. So I jumped on it. Um, 
Still haven't watched it yet. I mean, I've heard it's pretty good, but um, I went ahead and just got it before the slip cover sold out. That FOMO is real, man. Uh, next up is the last matinee. This is supposed to be really good. So we got to watch it, but yeah, the trailer on it looks really good. And then we have the Oregonian. I think they could have done something better. I don't like that slip, but could have done a little bit better. So we haven't watched this yet either. All right, so that's just like those. And then I have my Culture Shock set. Now, these aren't in alphabetical order. These are in uh, numerical order by the... By the uh, you know, the numbers on them, spine numbers. So the very first one they ever released was a uh, zipper face. This is DVD. Um, all right, the first three releases were in DVD. But yeah, you get zipper face. And it's not too bad. I, you know, I watched it. I thought it was kind of good. for Considering for what it is, right? Uh, next up is... What is this? Good night. God bless. I think I've watched this one. I can't remember. It's been a while. But yeah. Good night. God bless. Another. These are already sold out. So if you want them, you'd have to go to like eBay and get them. <clears throat> Uh, next is uh, Creep Tales. So I'm guessing this is like an anthology. I haven't seen this. Um, I'm guessing that's probably what it is. Yeah, Six Tales of Terror. So yeah, it's an anthology. That definitely looks right up my alley though. So Alright. Next we have Death Collector. This one wasn't too bad. Um, I, remember, I remember this one. Not too bad. We have two here. We have uh, Cannibal Hookers and Hooker with a Hacksaw. This one was kind of garbage. I just, I mean, it was okay, but just very, 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 and I mean very low budget. Low, low budget. Um, just kind of silly, really, to be honest. All right, so the next one I have two of, because um, I actually, I bought this one, The Girlfriend from Hell, and I missed out. I got, I think I got it from Hamilton Books, and I was hoping, because like the slipcover one went out, went out of print, so I was hoping that maybe Hamilton would still have it, um, but that, of course, you know, when I got it, you know, it came like this, so I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm, you know, lost out on it. But I actually do have it now, um, you know, sealed copy of it. So I'm not going to open that one. But now I have the actual slip cover for it. Um, there was a guy on Facebook, you know, he had uh, not not this one, but you know, he had these. Then the rest, some of, some of the other ones, he had them in a lot. So I bought all of them that he had, and then like the last, like I don't know, four or five. I've gotten from Vinegar Sight as they've came out. Um, but the next one is uh, the American Scream. This was part of the lot. The joke's on you. The American Scream. Uh, we have Slash Dance. I haven't seen these, so I couldn't tell you if they're good or not. Probably not. Uh, next up is Video Murders. Um, you know, it's kind of got that old look to it. Like, I mean, that's the way it's supposed to look up here on top. Like, it's all kind of messed up looking. Kind of like VHS style. Um, so, I still got to watch this. Um, we have Game of Survival.
A lot of these you can still get on Vinegar site. It's just some of the earlier ones are already out of uh, slip covers. Uh, Night Ripper. That's kind of pretty sweet though. Kind of glossy looking on the knife. All right, so I think that was it from the from the uh, the lot, and then the rest of them I actually got on the vinegar site as they were coming out. Uh, so we have raw nerve. Nice, uh, nice art there on that one. And then we have uh, Streets of Death, which you know it's got down the back, so I ain't gonna show that. But yeah, Streets of Death. Uh, the next one is a Devil Rider, like a Western horror. Yeah, I gotta still watch this one. I love that man. I wish that was the front. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, Devil Rider. And then last but not least was uh, Death Simber. So, this one came out for Christmas. And this one was Spine 15. So, I think they've gotten like, I think there's two more now that they've already been released that I just haven't bought. So, I think they're up to like 17. Um, mine, mine something. Whatever the name of it is, anyway. But yeah, guys, so that's all I got. Um, you know, sorry to make this long, 47 minutes long. Um, like I said, I mean, I still go get more stuff. It's just trying to buy all these movies. <laughs> yeah, you know how it goes when you collect. But yeah, guys, you know, if you like what you see, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, you know, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And hope you all have a good Merry Christmas. And like always, guys, this is SPT Killerwood, and I'm out.